Hello again, it's Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets with a very, very quick video um, to reply to Nuli Kiran who posted on the forum um, I'm using the percent change widget um, just very quickly, I'd like to um, reverse the baseline color options um, I'd like to show green for positive developments and red for negative um, is there any way to achieve this? So let's just quickly go take a look um, at the percent change widget um, to get an idea of what uh, Nuli Karan is, is talking about. Um, this basically shows a an up or down percent change. Um, at the moment we've got it set up based on daily visitors. If we have more visitors today than yesterday, um, or within the previous reporting period, um, which can be you know anything from sort of month, uh, months to weeks. If it's if it's an increase, um, it shows it in green. Um, let's just press F9 a couple of times. Uh, if the value's gone down, um, it will show it as a um, an orange value. It's just fine one. So um, you can see here yesterday there were 935 visitors. Today there's only 857. It's gone down by 9%. So basically what um, Nuri Kiran wants to do is just to change the to change the colors over, um, which is incredibly simple. Um, so if we just go along the top um, in Home, go along to the end, find and select, go down to the selection pane. In the selection pane, you'll see all of the shapes um, that are on this, on this particular worksheet. We want to go down to K, which is the E F G H I J K, which is the percent change widget. The percent change widget is made up of. If I just click it here, that's the title, um, which is a text box. There's a label underneath for unique visitors. There's a current value text box. There's a percent change text box. And notice that is slightly smaller on either side than the than the color um, chart. Um, that's the chart, which is actually a um, it's a uh, um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Can you believe it? It's a I'm gonna go over here. It's a bar chart. There we go. My mind's gone blank. Um, so this is this is the this, these are the calculations that's driving that chart. Um, you can see it's a very simple bar chart with with two um, two two values on it. If I press F9 again to update the random values, um, sometimes um, we have a value of one um, in the down there, for example. If I press it again. Um, sometimes we have the value of one in the up, which all depends on whether um, the current value is greater or lower than the the previous value. Um, so basically, this is a little bar chart here. Um, so we want to change those colors. It's very simple. We just click here on this is the down bar chart. We want to change that color. Right click again, format the data series, go to fill, <coughs> solid fill. We want this, um, we're going to reverse the colors, so we want this to be green. Let's just put this color green here, for example. Cl close that. Um, press it a couple of times, F9 again. Okay, that's the, that's the up value, which we want to be red. Click it again, format data series, fill, solid fill, change the color to red. Close. So now, um, if there's an increase, um, for example here, there's an increase of 13%, it's now red, um, and if there's a decrease, it's green. Um, so there we go, Th that's how to change the colors. Um, I hope that uh, makes sense. If you need any more explanation about this widget or any of the others, please feel free to make another posting uh, on the excel-widgets.com um, forum.
Um, thanks a lot. Until next time.